Welcome. Today we will be going through ePay issues that the support team have been seeing. So there's been two commonly. One is with sending the new ePay products down to the point of sale, and the other is after Windows updates on the back office, the point of sale ePay will no longer work. So we'll start with the first one, which is we've got products here to send. So we've got 547 ePay products that have been updated, waiting to go to the point of sale. Now, when I click on that and then click OK, it's going to send through to the point of sale. However, it's going to error, as you can see there. So warning, 547 PLUs will not be sent as they are in an unknown department. If things are in an unknown department, they cannot make it to the point of sale. So I'll show you how to fix that and I'll show you how to fix it permanently. So there is two stages to this. One is in the shop screen. If we go into just search, go into group, go into our unknown group, we can then tick all, once you've done this, go through the list to make sure they are all ePay products or deselect the ones that aren't. Once you have, then click on set selected, click on our group, scroll down till we find our ePay group. There it is there and click OK. So that means that we've now technically fixed it. I could send that through right now to the point of sale without a problem. In fact, I will do just to prove that point. However, the next time we get a host file from ePay, which is on the first of every month, if there is still the reason for this not being fixed, it's going to happen again. So I'll show you how to fix this permanently next. So if I close that, you can see that's sent without a problem. And I go into setup, edit lookup tables, catalog tables, catalog commodities, and scroll pretty much to the bottom, but you'll have all of your ePays here. So you can see we've got ePay or the catalog group name gift cards and it's in the shop group ePay and the provider ePay. So the provider is in this case the host that we're talking about. So it's always going to say ePay. However, the shop group is determined by what we select. So you can see here our Microsoft Xbox, our provider's ePay, however, it's going to unknown. That's potentially one of the problems. It's the Steam powered by Mole. So we've got ePay there, but unknown again. That's the problem. And basically that means every time the host comes through from ePay, it's saying, hey, I'm, you know, catalog number or catalog commodity number 126. What group do I need to assign that to? And this screen was saying unknown. That's how we were getting the error. Now, if you fix just this, but without the shop, you'll still get the error. You need to fix it in both places to get the products through to the point of sale. This will fix it from happening again in the future. However, you do need to check it periodically because new catalog commodities can be added. So this will fix it in the future. The one in shop with the set selected will fix it right now to get the products through to the point of sale. With that being said, we'll move on to the next issue. All right, so on the same screen, but now we're full screen, I'll just talk about the other issue which has been coming up a bit lately. So if you've had Windows updates recently, specifically on the back office, what will happen is Windows will lock down the network sharing permissions so that people on other computers on the network can't access certain files. Now that makes a ton of sense in most environments. However, in our customer's environment, we want you to be able to see the ePay folder in the back office from the point of sales. So when they lock that down, your ePay will stop working. Now, to check that, it's pretty straightforward. Windows 7 and Windows 10 are pretty much the same steps. There's not much difference. It may just look a little bit different. So what we'll do on the bottom right of this right now, we've got a little computer monitor there with a little icon in the top left. If we right click on that and click open network and internet settings, it's going to come up with our network adapter and network status. Now what we'll do is we'll click on the network and sharing center. And what we're talking about specifically with it not being able to see the folder is the sharing permissions. So what we'll do is go into the change advanced sharing settings, which you can see on the left just here. And we're gonna go through all of the ones that you'll see typically and what we need to do to set it correctly. Now, for the people in the general sense for our customers, you're not going to have a domain like what we do. That's a lockdown area for a work environment when you're in an office. So don't worry about the domain. You will, however, have the private, guest or public and all networks. And those are the three we'll be talking about. So in private, you wanna make sure that the turn on network discovery is on as well as the turn on automatic setup of network connected devices and you want to turn on the file and printer sharing. So network discovery is so that the point of sales can see the back office computer and the file and printer sharing is so that it can see the files on that computer. You do need them both for the ePay because we're trying to find the ePay folder on the server. So once that's been set, you'd go to guest or public. You do need to do this on all three on yours, not just on one specifically. 
So you'll turn on your network discovery, turn on your file and printer sharing, same as what we did in the private. Then in all networks, there's a few more or more options. So we'll go through that. It's basically the same thing. So we're going to turn on the sharing so anyone with network access can read and write files in the public folders. So that means that unless the file on the back office has been shared, which ePay has been, but any of the others, if they haven't been shared, cannot be seen by things on the network, which is why we do have the share open for ePay. So as soon as this is enabled, your ePay will start working. Moving on to the bottom bit there, which is the file sharing connections, we want to use the 128-bit encryption to help protect file sharing connections. That is a safety thing. I recommend setting that. Do not use the 40 or 50-bit encryption unless you know this area. The last setting in this screen isn't one that I can show on my computer, so I've just grabbed this screenshot off the web. But essentially, the bottom setting here for the password protected sharing, we want to turn that off as well. So that's about it. At that point, you'd have to probably restart your point of sales for it to pick up and maybe a back office, though it should work immediately once you've changed these settings. So that is if you've had your Windows updates and we've covered what happens when the host comes down and you've got a bunch of products in an unknown group and how to change your commodities so that in the future, you don't have to worry about that as well. So if you could, don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel and with all the future content that we have coming out. Otherwise, I'll catch you later. Cheers. Bye.